Happy April 6th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy was attacked by baby owls. <laughs> she chose to try to just defend herself, um, but she clipped one of the three hatchlings anyway. I think that's not a good thing, but the whole scenario was, I suppose, appropriately uh, confusing. We're just trying to get out of here and not hurt anyone, and we're being pecked at even by the children. But it's okay. We're exiting the building, or so the calendar told us. But it told us that yesterday, too, and it was wrong. Uh, are we really getting out this time? There's one way to find out. Let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Yep. We're not getting out. Oh. Just as you believe you've made it to safety. I didn't I didn't believe we, <laughs> I didn't you believe we believed, but I didn't believe we made it to safety outside the barn. Eldris swoops down from the skies, screeching furiously, and launches a relentless attack with its razor sharp talons. With the growing light, the nocturnal owl hesitates to land an attack directly finding it challenging to see in the increasing brightness. All right, we, um, we are going to do three things in order here, I guess. Create a distraction, appear threatening, <laughs> and flee, and then flee from the owl. I, we've been, I feel like we've been fleeing for days. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, oh, if you have clipped one hatchling written down from earlier, we do. Furious over what you've done, the owl's vengeance pushes it to attack more aggressively. Take a minus one penalty on all rolls on this page. And if we had clipped two or three, we'd have a worse penalty. So yeah, we did the right thing yesterday, I think. And um, that was our goal, to not clip them. But we did accidentally clip one, so we have minus one all rolls today. Okay. Step one, create a distraction. Roll d20 plus intellect. Our intellect is plus zero. That's a 16. Minus one is 15. That's the best result. Your distraction works brilliantly, completely diverting the owl's attention for this one attack. Maybe that was Disco. Um, running away with all the amber he's collected. Oh, I don't remember. He, he found one amber in the baby's owl nest. In the baby owl nest, right? Um, okay. Uh, cool. Two. Uh, appear threatening. Did I read this? Your distraction works brilliantly. Completely diverting the owl's attention. Yeah. We would have lost health if that failed. Okay. Two. Appear threatening. Well, d20 plus strength, reminder intimidating. That's good for us because Ivy can re-roll uh, strength rolls and she is, an, uh, she is intimidating. So we get plus two there as well and our strength is plus two. So eight plus two strength is 10 plus two intimidating is 12 minus one is 11. Um, that's the middle result. Uh, let's try to use our, well, it says if we use Royal Might, we would re-roll and we would have to take the new result. Um, let's do it. Royal Might. There we go. 16. There we go. Plus 4 is 20 minus 1. That's easily the best result. Your display of strength and ferocity causes the owl to stop its immediate attack. So that was its second attack. Um, so far, we've avoided damage completely on both of its first two attacks. Its third attack, um, we are going to attempt to flee from the owl. Roll d20 plus constitution. That's an 18. Our constitution is zero. Reminder, athletes, we get plus two is 20. Minus one is 19. That's the best result. You sprint away from the owl increasing the distance between you and it so it cannot attack you further okay um we are sprinting away from the barn <laughs> hopefully that is the end of that um 
We have two lost travelers with us, right? We still have lost two total, but we found two in the basement of this barn. Disco's carrying a handful of amber, and uh, we came away with some more meal rations. So, all in all, not too shabby. We also have a lot of information about where to find the forest guardians. Um, let's see, before we go, we could do the Sunday lottery, uh, but again, that just doesn't make sense to me out here in the wilderness. So, um, that, my friends, is April 6th and 7th. So, we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again on Monday. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.